In this video, you will see how to create filters in Outlook. Today, you will see how to create a basic email filter in Outlook, how to create a filter with certain keywords in the email body or in the email subject. We will discuss some other possible email filter options. And lastly, you will see how to create a filter and move emails to a different email account inside Outlook. Let's get started. You see here. In my inbox, I have received multiple Zoom meeting invites. If I search with the keyword, you see how many Zoom meeting invites I have received. So what I want to do, I want to create a filter to move all these meeting invites into a different folder and the filter should work for all the future emails as well. So what to do, right click on any of the email and select rules. Outlook filter is referred to rules here inside Outlook and click on this create rule option. It will automatically grab the email subject for that email. You can change it to anything, but I want to keep this like I want to move all the emails with the same subject from anyone. I will not select a sender. I will select the subject only and display in the new. I will not put a display new alert window play sound. So I will try a new sound. I'll just keep the default sound here. And finally, we want to move all these emails to a different folder. So I will click on this select folder and inside inbox, I will create a new folder and name this folder zoom meeting invites and click on OK. The folder is now selected and click on the OK button again. So our filter is ready and it asks you if you want to run this filter for the existing email also. So I will select this option and click on OK. So now it is moving the existing emails with the subject we have selected to this folder we created. Now let's see all these emails are here inside the Zoom meeting invites folder and if I check the inbox, I will not see any Zoom meeting invites here. So the filter is ready. Now we need to check if the filter works for the new emails. So I will send a mail with the same subject from a different email account. And you see we have received the email here and the email is automatically moved to the newly created folder, not in the inbox folder. Right? It is working perfectly and we got the notification sound we have selected. You can select a different notification sound for this filter if you want to. Now let's see how to create a filter with a certain keyword in the email body. So if I select this email, I have a keyword watch this video. So what I want, I want to move all the emails with watch this video inside the body to a new folder so that I can watch all these videos later. So for that, I have to create a new filter. You can right click on the email to create the filter or you can click on this move rules and create a new rule. Here, what we will do, we will go to this advanced option this time and here you will see multiple options. So we will not go through all these options. We'll just select this option with specific words in the body and here you see this option and I have to put that specific word. What was our word? It was watch this video and click on the add button and click on OK. And you can add more conditions here like from a certain email sender, but I will not select any of this. Click on this next button and I will move all these emails to a different folder. We will create the folder here move it to the specified folder here i will create another folder watch video and i have selected inbox so the folder will be created inside inbox click on ok and the folder is ready here and click on the ok button again and finish the rules wizard so our watch video rules is ready we haven't selected the option to move the existing email this time so the existing emails are here. So we will check this for the future emails only. So I will send an email with this keyword. Let's see. You can see we have an email inside this watch video folder and this is the new email. 
and this email has the keyword watch this video so it automatically goes into this watch video folder now let's explore some other email filters option we have inside outlook so when you click on this move option and select rules create a rule and if you click on this advanced option you have all these options to create new rules or filters inside your outlook so this from option refers if you want to filter your emails for a certain email sender and if you select this subject option you can filter the emails with the subject which we have explained initially within this video and you can explore all the other options here it has like multiple options so you can use any of these filter options now let's see how to create email filter to move emails from a different email account here you see i have two email accounts connected with my outlook so what i want i want to move some emails from this account to this account using a filter let's see so here inside this inbox i will create a filter or rule again click on move rules create rule and what i'll do this time i will go to advanced option and i will select a sender so i'll select from and here it selected one email sender i will select a different one here i will put the sender email address what i am going to do i am going to create a filter so that when i receive any emails from this email inside this email i want to move that to this other inbox click on okay and next move to a specified folder so move it specified folder and we will go to the other inbox here and select this inbox and click on okay and finish this rule creation widget it shows a message that this rule will be applied only if the outlook application is running otherwise it will not work because we are moving from a different email account click on ok and wait now let's see here you see i am sending the test email to this press account here i want to move that email with the rule to this other account just wait for a few seconds you see we received the email but it automatically moved to the other inbox and this is we are inside this email account but when you click here you see that it was originally received to the other account we have so this works perfectly you can create multiple rules or filters inside outlook one good thing is when you create a rule on the outlook application all the rules will be synchronized with the outlook web version you can check them by going to the web and click on settings and if you select rules you can select all the rules here we just created all these rules thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel you can comment all your queries i will reply to all your comments